Um, yeah. Who let you in the house with this? This is just like outside my comfort zone for inside the house. Sorry. Oh yeah, check out the dog bed, by the way. Come on, you can have this outside. Okay, Sawyer. Go get it. Oh, wait, yeah, we're not coming back here. <laughs> So, did I mention he loves sticks? And we have no shortage of sticks in this yard. After all of the crazy wind, rainstorms and everything that we've been having. So, it's just a free for all. He just keeps taking sticks and bringing them in the house. I'm just gonna give you that one. That's a good one. Really, Tyler? Look at it. Yeah, silly boy. You're a silly boy. And it, yeah, it's officially spring, but I'm still wearing gloves because it's still really cold out. It's only about like 30 degrees today. Really, sticks make him so happy. I didn't need to buy you all those toys. I just needed to take you in the yard. He's loving being outside. I am doing some yard cleanup. We got just cleaning up all the dead grass, all the sticks, leaves left over, and just making the yard really tidy so that spring grass can come in. He's become super, super outdoorsy. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it has to do with the weather too, wanting to be outside, but I love it because I love to be outside. So he's like my yard work outside buddy. You are too, Quincy. What is that? He likes going through my piles and taking stuff out. Don't you? chewing that one now. <laughs> Ready? Go get it. So I've been raking up some piles of all the dead grass and little sticks and things like that. Tons of acorns in the yard. And of course, it's a great opportunity to let him be okay with, oh, you see, he's in this pile. <laughs> Let him be okay with the rake, just like I have to get him used to a broom. You want to get him used to vacuums. You don't want to have that dog that's crazy and chases the vacuum, the broom, or the rake around and you can't peacefully get things done that you need to. Oh yes. Oops. Sorry. We'll cover that. By the way, we still have that tree that is that came down in the last windstorm. So and he's actually really not even that interested. When I first started, this is my first day of raking with him. He was a little bit interested in it, but if he took too much interest, I would just throw the ball for him or get him a stick and then he was fine. Boy, do I really need to trim these rose bushes now that it is spring? Yeah. Oh, uh oh. I see little blooms. Oh, I should have done this already, but it's still not too late. So, definitely gonna do that. It's always a good time to practice. Come on, come to me. Yeah, he was already following. Kind of want them, even when they're in the yard, not to be just totally oblivious to you and doing what they want, but they should be checking in with you and making sure that you're still outside and just, yeah, doing a check-in. Good boy. Good boy. You are a good boy. Yeah, you are a good boy. Come on, little one. 
Yeah, come on. He's just chewing little bits of sticks. Don't worry, see, he just spit it out. He doesn't swallow them. He just, he just likes to chew them and spit them out and I watch him. Oh, it's an acorn. You get an acorn? Do you see that? Yep. <laughs>